What you're looking for here is basically how many times did Hook order a product? Did Hook order products nine times, 13, 18, etc.? How many times did he order products in 2018? Okay. This one here is how many times did Hook order the same item? So if Hook came in nine times, of those nine times, two of them were forks, knives, and spoons. The other seven times were different products, like ham, roast beef, whatever it is. So those are the ones I'm going to tackle next here in the video. So to do this, you can do many different ways. I like to do it one way. Um, you could filter. You could honestly just filter. You could go and say, okay, I'm going to do Aladdin here. Okay, there are 15 rows for Aladdin, so that means he made, made 15 orders. Okay, great. So how do I know how many times he ordered a unique product? Okay, I would literally have to count. There's two champagne glasses that are short. There's a third one. Okay, there's a Marcella ham cranberry glaze, another one there. Oh, there's another champagne. So he's got four purchases. But let me introduce you to another way. Um, I showed you this in many different situations previous to this class. But if you need a refresher, let's go right ahead. This is really simple. We are going to grab hook, our customer list. Our customer list, we are going to grab our description. Okay? We are going to create a new sheet. We are going to create what's called a count. Okay? Count of orders by customer. Okay? So we're just going to count the number of times that hook shows up. And then over here, count of orders of un of orders by customer by product, okay? If this over here is product, right? Okay? So the first one is simple. This is just a count if, okay? So we're gonna grab our range, we're gonna grab our customer name, and you can see we have a nine there. Now we're gonna drop this down and you're gonna see duplicates, right? For all of hook as nine, charming all of its 15. We'll deal with that later. We're just gonna remove those duplicates later on. But let's just go with this for now. Next one, we're gonna do count ifs, plural. So equals count ifs, okay? Criteria range one. So where is it? Well, we're gonna start with customer name and then we're gonna to wanna to match it up with hook again, just like we did in column C. And now, for the count ifs part, we're going to grab our description column, comma, and then we're going to click on that B2. Don't type anything in, just click on B2. Hit enter. And now, you see what it did? It put a 2 because it found that Hook purchased forks, knives, and spoons, and salad fork twice. Okay, so we're going to double click this now and drag down. Okay, it took a moment there, so be careful. You see, we still have duplicates because we know he ordered prime rib one, two, three times, and our data is showing that three times. That's okay, we're gonna remove duplicates in a moment and this will be all the simpler. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is copy this, right click, paste special values, because I don't want these formulas anymore. We're gonna do something where I don't want these formulas. It'll mess everything up. So you have to copy, paste special, and do the values. So now we don't have those formulas, okay? All right, so now here's what I want you to do. This is gonna be a little more confusing, but call this the scratch work. It doesn't matter. I just put something in there as a title. So this is gonna be Count of customers by customer, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab hook, or the customer column, A, and we're gonna grab column C. This will only work if you paste special values and, and you don't have formulas in here anymore. I'm gonna paste this over, and now we're gonna go up to data and remove duplicates. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna look in all these lines and only bring back a distinct or unique value. 
Hit OK. 48 values remain. So now we have a unique set of data showing when all of our customers from 2018 have made a purchase. Okay. So Hook came in nine times, placed nine orders, Charming 15, Rumpel 16. So now you have answered question five. Let's answer question six now. Go back to scratch work. I want you to grab both A, B, and D. Copy those. And again, this only works. Create a new sheet. Only works if you did the values. You don't have formulas in here. Okay. Now this will be a long name, so I don't know if Excel will accept the sheet's new name here. Yep, it didn't like it. So we'll just do count orders by customer, cost by prod. Okay, just abbreviate it. I don't care what it's called. Okay, so now I want you to grab all three columns just like we did before when we grabbed just two columns. Grab all three columns now, all of it. Don't just grab a little bit, a little bit like this, all the columns. Go back up to remove duplicates. Check mark my data has headers because we selected the headers. Now hit OK and it found 190 duplicates. Okay. What this means is now we have a list for Hook. Remember when he came in nine times on this sheet over here? Well, here they are. If I highlight all of Hook and go down to that little trick I showed you in class with the nine there, he in his nine visits or nine orders, he bought two. He was there to buy two orders of forks, not quantity purchased. We're just talking about how many times he placed orders. He placed an order for sirloin tips, for roast beef three times, shrimp skewers once, water goblet once, and boneless chicken breast and ham once. Okay? So one way you could look at this is you could do a filter. So let's say I wanted to look at Aladdin, and that's all I cared about. Now we've got only Aladdin, what he purchased, and how many different times. Again, not the quantity, but the times he purchased. The reason this is an important measurement is because it tells us how active he is. How many times throughout the year has he purchased an item? Because if you have a customer that only purchases one time a year, you know, that's important to know. But if you have a purchase, a customer that's coming in every month, that means that that's a new sales call, that's more customer service, you know, more activity. That person obviously likes your business and wants to keep doing business with you. So that's how you address these six questions in a nutshell.